Hey, Dennis. I'm glad I caught you. How you doing, man? Hey, Sean. Good to see you. I'm doing great. How are you? Good, thank you. It's been uh, been busy, and we got more busy stuff coming up. But I always want to try to fit you in whenever I can. So, with your position there at Snowflake, there's been a ton of stuff happening of late with Iceberg. Uh, you know, 1.2 released Snowflake with their growing support of Iceberg, and I was wondering if maybe you could give me some details around the Snowflake support of Iceberg, what that was like developing it working with the iceberg community and uh you know the snowflake catalog if that's yeah yeah not well, enough to happy. fit in, in a couple yep, minutes. Yep. all right it's, there's definitely a lot a lot i could uh to talk about um i mean you know roughly speaking uh there are two sides to the same coin which is you know uh inbound interoperability and outbound interoperability um and you know, early last year, we first launched Snowflake uh, external iceberg tables. So that's where, you know, uh, iceberg tables created by Spark or Trino, um, et cetera, can uh, just be brought in in place uh, into Snowflake and Snowflake will uh, know how to interpret, you know, all the, the table metadata and all, all that good stuff uh, to, to optimize its queries, you know, read the, the file statistics and everything um, and, and read that in place. Uh, later last year, we launched uh, Snowflake's native iceberg tables. Uh, where just like any other Snowflake managed table, uh, you get all the benefits of things like data governance and transactions. Um, but through the magic of uh, open table formats, uh, this lives directly in the customer's bucket. So again, you know, things like Trino and Spark uh, can just read them in place. So, um, you know, you, you mentioned the, the catalog work. So that, that was the most uh, recent, you know, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak, um, where we have... Um, the library now in the open source uh, Iceberg SDK, um, allowing uh, uh, allowing you to connect to Snowflake to serve as the Iceberg catalog properly to uh, sort of help so that you can actually you know uh, manage your collections of tables and address them and and, and make sense of them uh, from these external tools. Uh, so you know as you can see you know there, there's been uh, a few different milestones and it, it is still the beginning of a journey. That's actually one thing where uh, this really meshes well with you know what we're excited to see within the community because it looks like you know a lot of people are on this journey you know we're we're on this journey together and it, it feels good to to undertake this journey together um, you know I think the industry as a whole it's maybe not overnight uh, but it's it's sort of a prolonged formative period where we see uh, things like you know people talking about. The data lake on on the one hand, or you know, talking about the data warehouse on the other hand, and, and bridging the gap. You know, yeah. uh, you, you you might have heard about you know Snowflake's data cloud vision, right? Where uh, you know these these delineations are are, are sort of uh, done away with, and you know, one thing we see as being really crucial to this uh, idea of the data lake is interoperability. And you know, whether Snowflake customers are are migrating or whether they're um, whether they're expanding their their tool set. Uh, you know, improv interoperability is key, and we want our customers to be able to, you know, have the right tool for for the right job. So, um, yeah. you know, it, you know that of course that's that's the vision, but you know, as as we all know, the devil's in the details, right? So, yeah, uh, you know, yeah, um, you know, you, you mentioned what's like developing it, and and that that's where the details come in, right? Like, uh, mm -hmm. the, the the vision sounds simple enough, but um, you know, I think. One cool thing about like what what Iceberg is doing is like we're is that th this brings order to something that is kind of fundamentally chaotic. You know, we come from a world with so many you know existing formats. You you have your parquet files. You know, I, I know you know Ryan you know, has, has talked a lot about you know why Iceberg had to come into the picture, and you know this is what we're seeing with, mm -hmm. with customers, and um, you know time and time again. You know, customers come from all these different uh, starting points, all these different perspectives. And and in the end, right? I, I guess there's this balance, this balance of uh, balancing being strict about your resource model, um, and on the other hand, pragmatism, right? So, you know, the the world of Hadoop and Spark, you know, there's a lot about just getting things done and and you know throwing things into the mix. But this the set of tools kind of grew organically, and 
uh, maybe without direction. And people ended up backing themselves into corners. So yeah. you know, th this is the nice thing about ice cream, right? Yeah, like we, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We don't want to uh, reinvent the wheel, you know, at, at end times again. Mm -hmm. What we need to do is, you know, coalesce around the, these open, uh, open table formats. And, you know, where we have uh, so much activity, you know, this is just, just such a such a big benefit that, that we see in the community is having so much um, activity from diverse perspectives ensures that we have a battle tested, uh, you know, direction that we can apply to Iceberg. And at, yeah. at the same time, you know, balancing, you know, so, so this is actually, you know, thought out beforehand. So we're not, you know, just just going wherever, wherever, you know, the the use case of the day goes on the one hand, but at the same time, we're, we're still be able to incorporate these use cases. So, you know, that's that's a cool thing I've seen is like a, a really nice balance between that strictness and, and that pragmatism. So, um, hmm. you know, the, and, and overall too, right? Like uh, we, it's been, you know, it's been great working with the community. Everyone's been very welcoming, very helpful. So, you know, <laughs> even as we're, we're you know, learning and, uh, you know, getting our toes wet for the first time you know everybody is has been very patient and you know helpful in um in helping you know find out where where we can help the most as well because uh you know i think snowflake is very excited to help participate um help bring snowflake customers perspectives into the picture yeah. as well and you know where the rubber uh, meets the road right this is uh where iceberg has been able to deliver and and where we're able to incorporate just diverse perspectives um to to help you know flush out something that that really works right that that's you know really a, a real world you know that that all tested system so uh yeah, yeah we're, we're looking forward to continuing to work with the community a lot you know there's certainly more to come you know a lot of messy messy details to work through together <laughs> and you know keeping each other honest there so <laughs> yeah that covers it <laughs> you know i i appreciate snowflake wanting to sort of work with people instead of sort of at odds. I mean, this really is, it, it would be very difficult to sort of say, no, forget about the data lake. We're going to subsume it like this. So seeing Snowflake be sort of a really a willing and active and enthusiastic participant in the iceberg um, space has been actually really good to see. Oh yeah. And likewise, you know, it's been great to see all the other, uh, members of the community, right? There's uh, lots of customers who are, uh, yeah. or there's people using Iceberg directly. There's um, also service providers, right? And uh, and I think working together is is where the magic happens because in the end, you know, we time and time again in, in tech, you know, you you see that uh, an an abstract spec only goes so far, and yeah. You know, in, in the end, uh, you know, things arise from de facto uh, specs that arise from implementation details. And uh, in this case, you know, working with everybody is just, uh, you, it, it helps us, you know, really develop something that incorporates all those different perspectives into, you know, one unified vision. So that's great to see. Well, awesome. I appreciate you sharing those insights. It's always good to know what's happening you know, inside the uh, ice garden over there, <laughs> if you will. So anyway, I, I appreciate you taking some time out. I appreciate your thoughts. And I'm going to probably bug you about something else uh, in the future. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Always happy to chat. Yep.